The first weekend in November, the giant omelet celebration will be held in downtown Abbeville, Louisiana. The giant omelet uh, has 110 members strong, about 35 of those which actually cook the omelet. So everybody plays their part, but we get started on Sunday morning. The building, the fire starts very early. We have a wood fire that is cooked over. It's a 12 foot skillet. Around 1.30, we start cracking eggs and mixing ingredients and firing up the pit so that we can have a 5,000 egg omelet to serve to all the uh, participants of the festival. How long does it take to cook that omelet? Ooh, we, depending on the wind and the weather, <laughs> it can take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. The Giant Omelet is wonderful. It is one of the most unique festivals we have, of course. I mean, where else can you get 5,000 eggs cooked in front of the beautiful courthouse underneath the giant oaks? Um, you know, they have 5,000 eggs, plenty of Tabasco. Of course, you know, the ingredients, onions, bell peppers, celery, um, and then butter. Lots of it. 52 pounds of butter, you know, salt and pepper, but it's just a great festival. We're the only one in the United States that celebrates the Omelette Festival, so this is the only place you're going to get to see it. So um, I invite everybody to come on down. And then what happens to the omelet after you cook it? We give it away free to everybody in attendance to the festival. And one thing worth mentioning is that uh, we have seven omelets around the world, and each one of them put in specific ingredients that are uh, local and so we use crawfish and Tabasco pepper sauce. The cooking of the omelet um, is just so interesting to watch with all the chefs with their hats and how they um, parade down from St. Mary Magdalene Church. They parade around the square to the giant um, omelet skillet. It's a lot of pomp and circumstance. We have the Tabasco girls that dance around and shake the Tabasco in there. It's just really something to watch and then of course after the omelet is cooked they hand it out to all of the people to enjoy. How did all this get started? We had some members of our local chamber of commerce at the time that uh, encountered some people from France on an airplane and were told about this giant omelet they did in France. It was in Bessieres, France. And they wanted to expand their omelet to be a worldwide conferee, so they invited some members to go and see what they did. Some members from Abbeville went and subsequently brought the festival back as a, a chamber of commerce event. And in two or three years after they had the first French market festival, as it was called then, they decided to have it as a separate entity and do the giant omelet celebration organization. Our omelet festival in Abbeville, Louisiana is the only one in the United States. They do have six other omelets around the world, which is a member of our worldwide conferee. The other omelets are made, two in France, in Bessieres and in Fréjus, one in Belgium, in Malmody, one in Canada in Granby, Quebec, one in New Caledonia in Dombia, and one in Pigue, Argentina. And the common thread is that those, people, those places all have a French language and culture in them. Uh, the Omelette Festival is just really great because it uh, highlights our French heritage and it incorporates arts and crafts and food and music and we invite all the other confreres to come and enjoy our omelet like we go and enjoy theirs. The festival has sustained itself over the years and in recent years has become very popular as a unique event and also other elements surrounding our festival like our great art show is one of the one of the best ones and uh, probably most vendors in the area and because it happens so close to Christmas, we invite people to come out and Christmas shop. But we also do a charity walk, we do a bike ride, a poker run. All of these things are done by other nonprofit organizations that actually make money. So we try to give back to the community in that way. What's your favorite part about the Alma Festival? Aside from the actual cooking of the festival, we do have a 9 a.m. mass where we bless the eggs and the bread and that's a very special event because we do have that mostly in French and we also have singing of the national anthems of all of the other omelet countries that are in attendance in our festival that year. Abbeville was founded in the late 1800s uh, by Father Pierre McGray. Um, it was basically built um, to represent his town in Abbeville, France. It's you know, it's a lovely town. I grew up here. I have a special connection to it, but we have great food, of course, great festivals. Um, weather's going to be great, but Abbeville is just a unique little town. Um, great people here, 
and I invite everybody to come on down. We feel it's important to reserve, preserve our French language and culture. Uh, you need to really remember where you came from. And also it's a very great connection. We've found over the years that when relations with France politically may not have been so good, the warm relationships that this omelet has built with people around the world has really been comforting and almost like a little mini peacekeeping uh, part of the world. So we're very proud of that. They certainly can call my office. It's area code 337-898-6600 or visit our website www.mostcajun.com because we are the most Cajun place on earth. They can start off by visiting our website which is www.giantomelet.org. That's giant, O-M-E-L-E-T-T-E dot O-R-G.